My name is Michael and welcome to an AGTK Stack Sideboot tutorial. Today we are going to learn something uh, uh, different. Today we are going to do something which we didn't with GTK Stack or we didn't with GTK Stack uh, switch, uh, Switcher. Uh, instead of uh, using uh, those functions which uh, you, s you saw that you can apply them on a GTK uh, stack sidebar from a GTK stack and of course uh, we need a GTK uh, stack sidebar uh, stack switcher for a second sorry uh, GTK stack I want to show you something stack switcher because this is very important for you to understand you see uh, on the yeah right GTK stack Uh, stack sidebar right here okay now you see we have on the stack sidebar we have properties which we saw it's only the stack and of course the stack switcher has also two properties which is the icon size you saw that you can change it and of course the stack but all these things you can set them through GTK stack because GTK stack it, it ha itself has properties which you already know them it has also um, uh, child properties as well so basically you see on with the GTK stack side a uh, stack you can change the icon name and uh, the property of the GTK switcher it is the icon size which means uh, there are two different properties one you can uh, set it the size directly uh, through GTK uh, stack switcher which is the size or you can change the name the same thing happens uh, also if you want to change uh, some uh, child properties uh, which uh, you should already know that uh, you are actually changing the relationship between the those two objects between the container and its child so what I'm talking about let's see let me uh, let me make some changes for you so that you understand I'm going to show you some now we are here where we were creating our GTK uh, stack sidebar and we are going to to set some uh, uh, child properties of course you should already know that G uh, G object set it will not work I'm going to make uh, just an example button one let's see the property name and of course uh, the name which you want to choose because button one use the name phone we are going to give another name for example uh, uh, let's say uh, what, whatever telephone is not important right now and of course the null now if you compile and run it it will compile fine but it will give you a warning because there is no uh, property called name for the button one or at least of uh, no sorry it is uh, Okay, we just choose a, a one which or exists. Uh, we need to create a child property, not a uh, which we cannot set it through. Let's say uh, needs attention, for example. So, which takes, of course, a different, a different uh, value, true or false. I'm going to set to true and now you're going to see that it's not working because uh, G object set sets a property for an object and has no problem and needs attention of course it's not working this property will, will not be set through G object set because this is uh, to set an object property we need a child property for this we need GTK container child set and here we can say GTK container our container of course it is the stack because the stack is the container and then the widget let's say button one and of course uh, the property in this case uh, needs attention true and null I'm going to copy all these calls right now now before we compile and run this problem let's see what's the story with this needs attention needs attention says sets a flag specifying whether the child requires the user attention uh, this is used by the GTK stack switcher to change the appearance of the corresponding button when a page needs attention and it is not the current one. 
Uh, basically, what this means, uh, before we do that, let me show you something. Uh, I'm going to comment this part right here. And uh, as you can see, you should focus yourself on the button one. So, this is the button one, which is the phone. I'm going to move a little bit. You see something here strange? You don't see. You see something new? You don't see. Well, let me see if you see it right now. Of course, I forgot the semicolon, like always. If you see something interesting right now. Do you see something interesting? Yes, you see. You see that red dot right there? Which means that something happens. If this is a, uh, the way how you notify your user that something happens. Let's, let's say we are, we are here. You put uh, the phone, um, the container which belongs to the phone so that you understand to do some job and uh, you don't want to wait to finish that job or maybe you create, I don't know, let's say you, maybe you want to create a chat program or something and someone is writing you down something and uh, you leave the tab once that something happens right there where you don't see it you get informed by see this red dot right here so this means you ne it needs attention this means you need to click there and see which change uh, what changes um, took place there so this is the behavior which you need to take um, uh, to take care and uh, you need to understand it of course, the same thing goes if you now, for example, let me make a copy of this uh, position, which is very important. If you set a position now to a new position, let's say four, now your button one, which was first one, now it will be right here. So you will have camera, audio set, audio headphone, phone, and then computer. Because you just said that the phone button should go through. Yes, we have too, way too much information here. I just messed a little bit the things right now here because uh, I need to to set the position not the button I made a mistake whatever uh, of course again the position it should be a string so it's not working if it's not a string and now it should be fine and now you will see that we are going to put the phone and the position for you see the phone is right here and also it is marked because we decide to have it to be marked of course, you can change this behavior to another one, for example, for bot 5, so that uh, you needs the button 5 needs attention, which is the computer in this case. So basically, this is the things which you, you create. Now, the title, yes, if you want to change the title, because here, basically, you said uh, when you create the title, you said the phone has a phone name. If you want to give another name, for example, the title you can change it to something uh, different you can say cellular for example now you definitely gave another meaning for your or another name and now you won't see phone anymore instead you will see a cellular you see the cellular is right here that's the thing which this property does i hope you understand it because this is very important for you to understand it and that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors. And until next time, see you guys.